This is the future of pizza delivery. The first thing you do when you're in a hurry for a nice fresh pizza is pick up the phone and make an order. Pizza de Mario, can I take your order? Then of course they prepare it, they mix the dough, they knead it, they cover it in all the beautiful toppings, they slide it into the oven, it cooks perfect, they slide it out, stick it in a box, put it on a delivery bike and on its way to you it goes. But this pizza is not as fresh as it could be, depending on how far you live away from the pizza place and if you live really far, they might not even deliver to you at all. Have a solution. Okay, here's the plan. Rather than cooking the pizza and delivering it, we're going to cook the pizza while we're delivering it. Now, this video is sponsored by Insta360. More about them later. Every time I use their cameras to film, I'll put this little logo in the top corner. And if you like things that turn up in boxes, you might be interested in this. Kind of first jigsaw puzzle. I'm doing a final run of these. Once they're gone, they're gone. And in this high-tech world, a puzzle is actually a refreshing change. Brilliant, it's got all the inventions on, it's got the bunker on, absolutely fantastic. Link in the description, get yourself a piece of furs history, and that'll be nice. Right, pizza bike. So we need to take our bike, chop the back off, add a pizza oven, add a pizza chef, and stick the back of the bike back on again. Now before we take this wonderful Suzuki apart, we need a pizza oven. Now I'm gonna mount it just behind me, It'll keep me nice and warm. But if you buy one, then they tend to be like this flat type with a semicircular top and a chimney. Very nice, but I like the like, domed brick ones. Obviously, we're not going to make it out of brick, so I'm going to make it out of metal. And I'm quite good at making metal spheres and domes. So I think we need to do a bit of hydroforming. Now, to sum up hydroforming quickly, it's essentially making a 3D metal shape filling it with water, pressurising it, and using that pressure to force it into a new shape. And it is absolutely perfect for making metal spheres. Now, there are more videos on my channel. I will link them in the description. Let's see how we get on today. Oh, it's big. I've made Pac-Man. It's not quite what I wanted, but this is a very good example of why you've got to get all the air out of these things before you hydroform it. When I fill it up, I fill it up to the top and I make sure there is no bubble of air at the top here, which can be compressed. Because obviously, had that have had air in it when it goes bang, it would have been a much bigger and more powerful explosion. Because it's just full of water, which is non-compressible, you just get a little bit of a pop, it splits open, that's it. Makes you jump, that's about it. We're all still standing, I've still got a garage. Right, I'm gonna clamp you down, weld you up and have another go. But while I'm doing that, let's talk about these cameras. The Insta360 is an action cam, but with so much more. Its ability to take 360 degree images, add it with its inbuilt software to not only seamlessly stitch the two lenses together, it can cut out the mounts that hold it, giving you drone-like footage in the palm of your hand. Image stabilization is impressive, even at the end of a three meter pole. The Insta360 has a range of mounts and attachments to suit your needs. From bike mounts to get unreal perspectives in a high intensity environment. To backpack braces to capture experiences and moments like never before. The camera itself is waterproof, but for the more extreme depths, there is a dive case available. Editing the footage can either be done on desktop or through the Insta360 app. Editing options are huge with the ability to track faces, pan through a shot keeping what you want in frame. You can also use your phone's accelerometer to track through in real time. And best of all, you can choose the aspect ratio to suit long form or for social content. For any content creator, this is a must have piece of kit. So check out the Insta360 X3 at the link in the description and get yourself a free invisible selfie stick. Right, Colin, how are we doing with this hydroforming? Okay, welded all four joints again. Why are you rocking? That's pretty good. I don't know if I want to go much further than that, but I'm good! Ha! Whoa! 
Koira sai nää. Just ei saa hyvää. Okay, we're about there. It's a little bit taller than what it is wide, but it's okay, because I'm gonna make this oven double skin. This is gonna be the inner skin, so you won't actually see this. So next thing we need to do is to get the templates for a slightly bigger ball, weld them up with this in the middle, and then hydroform it again, and hoping we'll have a ball in a ball. And then I can cut my little pizza entrance out, hold it up, like have a chimney sort of go into it, I know, I know what you're thinking. Colin, you are making a rod for your own back here. I wish I'd gone for a blooming semicircular one. Right, let's have a crack at that. Oh my God, you guys are geniuses. So I've been struggling with cones, haven't I? Like putting them in, pulling them around, sliding it around, pulling it around, mauling it around. And I remember a comment on a past video where somebody said, ah, oh, just drop a little bit of angle line in between the rolls and it will assist you much better. For the life of me, I could not find this method anywhere on the internet, but I've just seen it, I know what you mean. When you shove this in here, measure the distance between the inner part of the cone and the outside of your slip roll, cut a bit of angle iron, Woohoo! Drop it in here, just in that little bit there. Shove it in here, up against that bit of angle iron. Start a turning, and it just turns it round look for you. To the person that put that comment, you are genius. You have transformed my life a little bit. That is why I love the internet. Oh, it's just one big learning circle, isn't it? Just imagine the amount of things we have learned from other people. What else can we pass on to each other? Never mind AI, just, you know, whatever that is. <laughs> right, coning it up we do, coning it up we do. Now I got so excited about this, I've made a whole video on special workshop techniques. I've linked it in the description. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Look at it. More consistent, way better. <laughs> Okay, I'm still smiling over that slip roll technique. Right, we've got two thirds of our secondary sphere. This one now has got to go in it. I'm going to put you in here. It fits, that's a good sign. What I was going to do, second cone on the top like that, very nice. Let's make a little chimney piece which goes on the top there. I was going to weld that round there, and then I was hoping that this would become a ball and then that would tuck in and blend in. It's not going to do that, is it? Because obviously for that to go in, the pressure's got to be on the outside here. It's not going to work. So we're going to have to do that bit separately. Okay, we've got a sphere and a sphere, but the next bit is the tricky bit. We've got a round pizza stone to get in the centre ball, a chimney to weld to the centre ball, and a doorway to go through them both. How I'm going to weld to the centre one, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do the next bit. Once plasma cut through the outer layer, I could see my inner ball sitting in there all nice, and then I knew what I had to do. I just pulled the inner ball towards the outer ball at the entrance, weld the two up there, and therefore the biggest air gap will be at the back where my back is. This is if I planned it like that. Okay, very nice. Got a pizza stone in there. Got two blow torches, piped it with some gas. Awesome. Tried to make a nice little separate swoopy bit for up here, but essentially made a butthole. Now I've had it running, above the flames gets hot, but the bit at the back doesn't get hot, so we're all good for the double skin thing. Okay, now this door is quite big. We're gonna close that off a little bit. Let's give it a test, see if it works. With the front door fitted, I then rather foolishly turned my mic off and tried to make a pizza. That's good. I need to let the stone warm up a bit more, because hence why the... <laughs> I need to let the stone... <laughs> but will it work while it's moving along? So, with it all safely strapped to the quad, got the camera set up, fired it up, slapped a pizza off her in, off I went, found the only hole in the field. <laughs> I've broke the stone, the pizza's a mess. I drove down a bloody hole. 
Dodge. This hole's actually really deep. I think I got away with that quite lightly. The burnt cheese scraped off the stone and the pizza oven set back on the quad. It's time to give it another test with no holes. All was going well. The pizza was cooking, but unknown to me, as it cooked, the harder it got, the more slippery it got. It was going on a journey of its own. I nearly lost the blooming thing. Oh, bloody hell. But it looked good and it tastes good. Okay, pizza oven works. Now it just needs a bike shoving into it. Now this part of the build has been made a little bit more complicated because while I've been messing around hydroforming a pizza oven, I've been riding the Suzuki. I like the Suzuki, so I do not want to cut the Suzuki up. So all USB lovers out there, fear not. I'm going to treat it with respect. Um, okay, I've mastered it. We are not going to butcher this at all. I've got a chassis extension. I've got some extra little bit of seats. I'm stretching it out. I'm bolting it all onto stuff. This thing won't know it's even happened to it. I need some pliers. <laughs> no. No. Get in there. Oh, no. Ah, they're the ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so long, Colin! Yes, it is, but don't worry, because in 2008, long-time subscribers will know I broke the world record twice for the world's longest motorbike. 46 foot one and a 72 foot long. So this is nothing. Anyway, never mind all that. Come have a look at this. Okay, this is a very long chain. That is only going to cause problems with tension in and it flopping all around all over the place. Giggity. Now, unlike any other chain, motorbike chain is a funny size and you can't just go and buy little blank sprockets like you can in other chain sizes. So these tiny little ones here, which I've got here for the chain tension in, I've made myself. Yes, whipped the blank up on the lathe. So basically machined a bit of aluminium down and then I fixed it down, screwed it down to the bed of the CNC router and then routed the teeth out into it. Oh yes, very impressed myself there. Obviously machined some bearings out, put it on, boom, we've got chain tension in. Now it's not all smiles, because such a big chain pitch, it's such a small tooth, you end up with a bit of bouncing and a bit of noise. It's gonna be a lot of noise when we ride this. And also this chain tensioner should probably be facing the other way. But never mind, that aside, let's go and give it a test ride because I kind of want to see what it's like. <laughs> Right, let's stick the pizza oven on it and transform pizza delivery forever. Yes, yes, it looks very good, Colin, but come on, let's deliver some pizza. Got my first order, right. Best of a job in the city, you sit and so pretty on a big white jack. With our first customer, we lit the oven and headed off through town. Oven's up to ten. Rick gives the five-minute warning. Right, let's get it ready. Now, preparing a pizza on a motorbike was never going to be easy, and as we know from before, I'm not very good at getting it round and flat. I even tried bashing it with my helmet. I tried extra flour. I even tried a small rolling pin. Then I remembered that technique where they chuck it in the air, spinning it around. That clearly doesn't work on a motorbike. So what? The pizza's not going to be round. I'm still enjoying this. Oh yeah! To the old cheese! Four minutes cheese! Coming for a scraper! So with something that resembles a pizza, it's now time to get it in the oven. So close, Colin. So after losing our second pizza, we slowed the pace down, whipped a third one up, got it in the oven, just in time to arrive at our customer, who's in the middle of a field. There he is! Right in time, lad. 
Pizza Domoto. Look at that! <laughs> that is brilliant, right? I admit it's not a circle. I've just realised we don't have any plates or any pizza boxes. Although not a perfect shape and actually our third pizza, the end result was a perfect representation of Italian cheese on toast. This is actually a pretty good idea. It's just good, isn't it? So with our lessons learnt, we headed off to our second customer. This was much smoother. We even told them to bring their own plate. But as good as this is, let's get the professional pizza maker to try it out and see what he thinks. After watching the footage back, it's immediately obvious that I didn't know what I was doing, and he does. And while it was cooking, ironically, we rode past Domino's. <laughs> it's looking good. At the destination, the customer come out with a plate fit for one slice, so while he got more, Mario checked out the cooking. He was very much surprised. Even with the base, it's cooked very good. With everyone served and happy, we just kept cooking. Ready? It's so good. And here we go, Peter and Mario on the go. We're calling here. Well, I think we'll call that a success. And there we have it. Now, thanks to Pizza De Mario in Stamford, of course, for lending me their kitchen, the use of their ingredients. If you go and dine out in there, say Colin sent you, you won't get anything free or any discount, but you will make them smile. Now, thanks for Insta360, of course, for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to get your free magic selfie stick. Fantastic cameras, offer shots and options that you don't normally get. It's all good. Now, thanks to my channel members for actually naming this. The name Pizza De Moto came from my members because I put a post there saying, hey guys, can you help me out with this? And they always do. This is what we do with the old channel membership thing. Bit of interaction. If you want to join, you can down the bottom, of course. It was a combination of comments from these two guys, Ryan and Gordon. I kind of put them together. Like Domoto, Pizza De Mario. It all makes sense. And there we are. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Fingers crossed, should be a tunnel video. <gasps> subscribe, people, subscribe. Now, of course, are you going to see this out on the streets? Because it does work. It's only two downsides. Is it only makes one pizza, you could possibly get two in there. And of course, if it's raining, hmm, not gonna be too keen on doing that, are they? No. Anyway, thanks for watching.